tasting notes. In the painting style of so many restaurants, a solitary sad slab of concrete is all that remains of a service plate. According to insurance claims, natural disasters come in three kinds. Disease, man, and acts of God. Disease. I went to school during the outbreak of SARS in Hong Kong, an outpost of a diseased empire with white people like the walking dead carrying out their old routines, quarantining themselves from an uncertain future. My first crush, Man Him, died age seven when SARS reached the local population. I met more than four white people in one room at the doctor's office. We all wore face masks and cornflower blue gloves for six months. I'm still not sure whether this was disease, because he'd caught SARS. Man, because they didn't listen to a stoic boy when he coughed. Or act of God, because white people always believe they are saved by some higher power and not expensive Purell hand sanitizer. Man. Samantha, richer than the Kirsten of the oil and the museum and the $5,000 Halloween party, Samantha was abducted in a black Mercedes. Samantha was an American girl doll. Pristine American dreams and fears. In my bedroom, age 13, I played school shootings, dramas, with Samantha. They, the black clad Barbies, wrote to her mother. Her mother, Raggedy Ann, paid the ransom. She, a doll, came home with a haircut. Safety scissors. I played her a natural disaster. Natural because it is natural to target the rich and it is natural to target the girl children. At real school, we had a lockdown drill where you close the door and pull down the blinds and huddle in the school gym, not moving. I'm still not sure whether this was disease. It is an unhealthy mind that makes a doll individually traced and cut out blue paper tears. Or men, or well, it couldn't be, men were chronically free from my make-believe. Or act of God. As I was God, no one should be that rich or that lucky. Act of God. In San Francisco, earthquakes sounded like gunshots, at least at first. People got blasé about both. Let them blast. Let them blow themselves to smithereens. We'll smith bendy buildings to withstand the constant assault. We were taught an earthquake drill. Find the shelter of a doorway or under a desk and cover your neck. We had a drug dealing homeless guy who slept in the panhandle park across the road. We knew his name to be Larry because he pissed on the side of our building and the neighbors threatened to shoot you, Larry. My figurine of a fairy fell off a desk, a category 6.0. And I dashed underneath my mum's door frame. Larry didn't have a door. Larry went under a dying tree and that bum died with it. I don't know whether it was disease. The tree was definitely diseased, and so was Larry's love for brightly coloured postage stamps. I don't know whether it was man. There are no shelter spaces left in so many beds in a city of space age tech. No doorways to let him shelter. And I don't know whether it was act of God. Because in San Francisco, gunshots and earthquakes are unpreventable. Because they are one nation. God. Thank you.